What's going on everybody? Welcome to Game Freak. Today we are going to talk about flying shoot 'em ups. Flying shoot 'em ups have always been some of my favorite games, especially at the arcades back in the day. Some were even brilliantly ported to different gaming consoles. The color schemes, beautiful backgrounds, the challenges, and the off the wall creative end of the level bosses always caught my attention with these games. They've definitely come a long way since River Raid on the Atari 2600. These games, along with arcade beat-em-ups, were the king in the mid to late 80s, all the way through much of the 90s when arcades were still a thing. Here is my top 10 flying shoot-em-ups of all time. Now keep in mind, there were so many great ones, they all couldn't make my list. So relax, I'm not throwing no shade at the ones not mentioned. Let's jump into this list. Coming in at number 10 is Darius. Darius is a 1987 horizontal scrolling shooter arcade game developed and published by Tato. Players control a starship named the Silverhawk in its mission to destroy the Belser Empire before they wipe out the planet Darius. Its gameplay involves traversing through a series of scrolling levels while destroying enemies and collecting power-up icons. It is notable for its unique three-screen panoramic display and upbeat soundtrack. Now as easy as this game looks, I can assure you this game is hard as hell, but still a lot of fun. At number 9 we have Gigawing. Gigawing is a 1999 vertically scrolling shooter arcade game published by Capcom on their CPS2 arcade system board and ported later that year to the Dreamcast console. The arcade version is notable for using a horizontally aligned monitor, much like Treasure's Radiant Silver Gun, something that is considered rare for a vertical shooter. The Dreamcast version had been scheduled to be released in the US in April 2000 before it was delayed to July 18, 2000. Now if you're looking for a hail of bullets to come at you, this is the game to play. And be prepared to be using those continues quite often. At number 8 on the list is Last Resort. Last Resort is a horizontally scrolling shooter by SNK released as an arcade video game in 1992. It was also released for the Neo Geo and Neo Geo CD systems, SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1 for the PlayStation 2, PlayStation Portable, and Wii, as well as the Neo Geo Arcade Classics for the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. This game, I think, was highly underrated. It has beautiful scenery, awesome gameplay, and really cool looking end bosses. At number seven, we have Three Wonders Chariot. Now, Three Wonders is a 1991 video game collection developed and published by Capcom, originally released for the arcades using the CPS-1 platform. It includes three related titles, Midnight Wonders, Quest for the Chariot, a platformer, Chariot Adventure Through the Sky, which is a scrolling shooter, and Don't Pull, a puzzle game, which I'm not a big fan of. But Chariot is a scrolling shooter game featuring the characters from Midnight Wonders flying in their chariots to save their home planet and princess. As kiddy as this game looks, it is a very challenging game. It has really cool bosses, the gameplay is great, and the visuals are spectacular. Highly recommend this game. At number six, we have Life Force. A Salamander retitled Life Force in North America and in the Japanese arcade re-release is a scrolling shooter arcade video game developed and published by Konami. Released in 1986 as a spin-off of Gradius, Salamander introduced a simplified power-up system, two-player cooperative gameplay, and both horizontally and vertically scrolling stage. I also have to add this has some of the best 
end of level bosses of any flying shoot 'em ups and probably one of the best soundtracks to any game out there. At number five, we have Pro Gear. Pro Gear is a 2001 horizontally scrolling bullet hell arcade video game developed by Cave and published by Capcom for the CP System 2 board. This is set in the fictional kingdom of parts where players assume the role of children controlling a plane that uses a propelling engine to overthrow the New World Order. It was the sixth shoot 'em up game from Cave, their first horizontally oriented shooter, and their eighth video game overall. And if this is only their eighth game that they've ever made, I gotta say they did a fantastic job. The visuals in this game are unbelievable. The M bosses are just crazy. And it's just a lot of fun. At number four, we have the not so popular but incredible Bat Sogan. Bat Sogan is a 1993 vertically scrolling bullet hell arcade video game originally developed and published by Toa Plan in Japan and Europe by Taito, as well as Korea by Unite Trading. The last shoot 'em up created by Toa Plan. The title takes place on a distant Earth like planet where global takeover operative led by King Reno Selva is set into motion as players assume the role from one of the six fighter pilots conforming the Skull Hornet squadron, taking control of submersible jets in a last ditch effort to th overthrow the invading military force from the planet. It might not be a popular title, but it is a great one and I highly recommend you checking it out. At number three, we have Blazing Star. Blazing Star is a shoot 'em up video game published by SNK in 1998 for the Neo Geo Arcade and Home Systems. It is a follow up to Polestar, which was released in 95 and features side scrolling action similar to its predecessor in different ships with varying characteristics. It was made less challenging than its predecessor and the graphic quality was improved upon. Regardless, if it is a little bit easier, it's still a blast, and it's another one that I can't say enough. I highly, highly recommend this game. It is so much fun. At number two, we have Polestar. Polestar is a horizontally scrolling shooter released for arcades by SNK in 1995. Players control a starship in its mission to eradicate the solar system of hostile race of aliens that threaten mankind. Its gameplay has been compared to the R-Type series for its similar premise and mechanics. Players must complete each of the game's eight stages by destroying constantly moving formations of enemies and avoiding their projectiles. There are power-ups that can be collected that provide additional abilities for the player. It runs on the Neo Geo MVS arcade system board. Great game right here. Definitely check this game out. And at number one, we have Ironclad. Ironclad is a horizontally scrolling shooter developed by Ceres for the Neo Geo CD video game console in 1996. Now, unfortunately, I never got to play this at the arcades. I was just introduced to it when I bought the Ambernick RG35 XX. It only took one playthrough of this game for me to realize that this is the king of flying shoot 'em ups. It was also rated in 2014 as one of the top 20 best Neo Geo games ever created. So I highly recommend checking this game out. You won't be disappointed. It's an absolute blast and the visuals are unbelievable. All right, so let me know what you guys think of this list in the comment section. What games you think should be on there and what games maybe you think shouldn't be on this list. Again, this is just my opinion, but I'd like to hear uh, you guys' opinions on this. So I want to thank you guys for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps out the channel a lot. And I greatly appreciate it. And until the next video, 
Game on, everybody.